Hello friends, this is Miss Debbie from Discovery Center Museum in Rockford, Illinois again. I'm here to read you a couple stories today. Our first one is called, I Utterly Love You. Uh, uh, you're in front of the book, um, please move. This is a cow puppet, yes. <laughs> and this book is about her and her baby. And a baby cow is called a calf. So this book is called, I Utterly Love You by Kate Toms. And I'm reading it to you with permission from the Make Believe Idea Company. I Utterly Love You. Now this is kind of a fun, an utter, this part of the word, is the part of the cow where the milk comes from. So this is kind of a cute little saying, I utterly love you. So. There's the two cows, the mother and the baby. I love everything about you. It says your tail, your ears, your toes. I think that's how most mothers think about their children. I love the softness of your skin and your silly, smooth, wet nose. Let me show you the pictures here really well. Smooth, wet nose. I love your every movement. <laughs> the way you skip about. And how your hoofs point inward while your knees stick out. <clears throat> I love the way you chatter, the funny things you say, the music that you sing to me, the silly games we play. And when you go exploring, it makes me really proud. There's a dog. To know you'll always find me, even in a crowd. There's lots of moms go moo, 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 moo. <gasps> he found his mother. At nighttime in the moo light, when the stars shine overhead, I watch you as you're sleeping in your snuggly little bed. I love you when you're happy. I love you when you're sad. Even when you're moody and meaning to be mad, bad. Oh, no, no. I think mothers love us, everything we do. Every day with you is special. I love you through and through. I utterly, utterly love you. And I know you love me too. So that's the story of I utterly love you. I want to show you the inside page of this. It's so, it's so clever. They put bunch of cows on there. Our second story today, oops, I dropped it, is called All Together Now, and it's written by Nick Butterworth, and I'm reading it to you with permission from the Little Brown and Company. It's one of those flip-flop books where you have to guess, so, or try to find something, so let's see how this goes. All together now. Oh, he looks like this little boy has lots of friends. I made a picnic for a treat with lots and to drink and lots to eat, but my friends were playing a hiding game. So without them, a picnic just isn't the same. I thought George, I wonder what George is. I thought George was on the chair, but when I looked, 
George wasn't there. What did he find instead? What is that? Yeah, a slipper. I looked for hippo on the bed, but I found Whitey there instead. Whitey is a polar bear, isn't he? Uh, I have a polar bear friend here. Hello, Whitey. I'm gonna put him on my desk back here and you'll see him again in a minute. Wilson just can't hide at all. I spotted her. She's much too tall. What kind of animal is Wilson? Yes, she's a giraffe. Who's next? You can't hide there. Now don't be silly. I know that shape. Come out. <laughs> Come out, Millie. What kind of animal is Millie? Yes, she's an elephant. That's right, an elephant. Millie. Where can George and Hippo be? Oh, where is Croc? I've lost all three. Now let me see. Oh, here's some cupboards. Let's look in the cupboards. Nope. Just pots and pans. How about this cupboard? I think, oh, lots of flaps here. I wish you were here to do it and help me. Just lots of toys in that cupboard. Well, we're still looking for some animal friends, aren't we? What's in that box? Only socks. Wait a minute, there's something in that. It's not a sock. Oh, he has to lift up a sock and he finds it's croc. Crocodile. So, oh, I have a croc too. See mine? Crocodile. George is very hard to find, but look at my bathrobe. Who's that behind there? Hmm. Is that a clue with his little hand sticking out? Hey, hello, George. Ah, George is a monkey. I have a George, too. There he is. <laughs> Put him with the rest of our friends over here. And... We're still looking for one more animal friend. Now everybody's looking, where can Hippo be? All together now, we'll count from one to three. One, two, oh, I can't get the thing open. <clears throat> three, there we go. There's Hippo. Yay, they found Hippo. Hello, Hippo. Jumps out of the basket. Now all of his friends are together and he can have his picnic. Um, I have something that looks like a hippo, but it's not. It's got horns on it. So this is a rhinoceros. And I've just got a tiny one that's really a hippo. Can you see the difference? It doesn't have the horns. It's just as big as the rhinoceros. I just don't have a big one. Here's all our friends from the story today. Can you see your favorite one? So I just wanna say goodbye right now. And I utterly love all of you too. Bye, have a good day. See you next time, friends. Subscribe for more daily science, crafts, and activities, or visit the Discovery Center Museum Playful Learning at Home webpage for more information.